بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم عزیز طلباء و طلبات آپ نے انمار کے بارے میں پڑھا تھا اس کے بعد کچھ اسپیشل ٹاپکس ہیں جن میں لاسٹ ٹائم آپ نے سی تھرٹین انمار پڑھا آج ہم ایک اور اسپیشل ٹاپک جو دیکھ رہے ہیں وہ ہے پولیری میٹری پولیری میٹری وٹ از پولیری میٹر اٹ از این انسٹرومنٹ اٹ از این اپریٹس وٹ از یوز فار دی میئرمنٹ آف دی روٹیشن آف دی پولرائز لائٹ پولیری میٹر is an instrument or apparatus which measures the rotation of uh, polarized light that instrument or the apparatus is called as polarimeter and uh, the measurement of the rotation of the polarized light is called as the polarimetry What is plain polarized light? Uh, you have studied in the uh, stereochemistry that uh, when a light is passed uh, through the nickel prism, uh, then it becomes uh, polarized light it will travel only in one plane and it will have uh, only uh, wavelength of one color uh, if you remember then that uh, Uh, three different type of the arrangements you have studied there uh, one was the light which is coming from the nickel prism is passed through the uh, another nickel prism which have parallel axes and then observer can see the light at the end and uh, second arrangement you have seen that uh, when the second prism is kept in such a way that it is uh, it is making right angle to the axis of uh, the first prism then you will not see the light in the and third arrangement you have seen that uh, when the light is passed through the first prism and there is present another second prism in such a way that their axes are not parallel then you keep uh, the optically active compound in between the two nickel prisms uh, then at the end you will observe some light why it is due to it is due to the presence of the optically active compound which will rotate the plane polarized light either towards right or towards left either in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction which compounds are optically active this you have also studied there uh, the chirality and optical activity there we have discussed this that if a carbon is a chiral carbon atom 
it means when it is connected with four different atoms or group of atoms, uh, then such type of the carbon is called as chiral carbon atom, and such uh, chiral carbon containing compound will be optically active, and its mirror image will be called as enantiomer. Enantiomer will also be optically active, but the direction of the rotation, direction of the rotation of the two enantiomers are opposite to one another. One enantiomer will rotate the plane polarized light in the clockwise direction. Another enantiomer will rotate the plane polarized light in the counterclockwise direction. R1 is called a small d enantiomer. R other is called a small l enantiomers. There you have studied in details what is the optical activity and what are the factors which are responsible for optical activity of the compound and important uh, point which you discussed there that was the presence of the chiral carbon atom in the compound due to which uh, Enantiomers are formed. Enantiomers are pair of stereoisomers which have same rotation of plane polarized light but in the opposite directions. So two enantiomers are the stereoisomers uh, which are mirror image of one another and which are non superimposable over one another. Such a pair of enantiomer is called as enantiomer. Now, the enantiomer can be differentiated by the use of uh, the polarimeter. Polarimeter measures the angle of rotation, extent of the rotation of the plane, polarized light by the enantiomers. What are the main components of uh, the uh, polarimeter? Here there is source of light and this source of light is sodium lamp. Then there is present uh, monochromator, monochromator filter, monochromatic uh, monochromator filter will change the polychromatic light into monochromatic light. Monochromatic light uh, monochromator will change the light into monochromatic. Uh, now the monochromatic light consists of just one wavelength or one color. One wavelength, one wavelength or one color because why we are using monochromatic light? Why we are using monochromatic 
mano uh, chromator filter here in the polarimetry because the most compounds rotate different wavelengths of light by different amounts. Why we change, we use the monochromator, why we use the monochromatic light? Because monochromatic light consists of just one wavelength and most of the compounds rotate different wavelength of the lights by different amounts. So only uh, one wavelength containing our monochromatic light is used here. Now the monochromatic light uh, can travel in different directions. Now here polarizing filter is used. Uh, in the polarizing filter what will happen? Here the light which can travel in different direction will travel only in one direction. So plane polarized light it is called as monochromatic light first uh, light is changed into the monochromatic light and uh, then the monochromatic light is changed into plane polarized light. Uh, that monochromatic light will travel only in one plane then it is called as plane polarized light. So polarizing filter is used to convert what here uh, arrows are present in different direction which is showing that uh, the light can travel in different directions, different planes, in different planes while the while the plane polarized light will travel only in one direction. Uh, so this is the schematic diagrams of the polarimeter. Uh, the light originates at the source usually sodium lamp. It passes through the polarizing filter or first it is passed through the monochromator, then it is passed through the polarizing filter due to which it will have the radiation of only one color or only one wavelength and those radiation of one color or one wavelength will travel in one plane only that is the function of the polarizing filter. Now analyzing filter is in a a polarizing filter, the light which is coming from the polarizing filter will be passed uh, through the tube, sample tube and that sample tube contains optically active, optically active compound. Now this optically active compound will rotate the monochromatic and plane polarized light 
in the clockwise direction or in the counter clockwise or anti clockwise direction now the uh, analyzing filter is another polarizing filter this one which is observing the rotation which is present by the use of protector here protector is used which we call as d so d is used at the end in the analyzing a filter and then there is present observer at the end here observer is present on this side will observe the rotation of the monochromatic and plane polarized light by the sample now the yellow light of the sodium is also called sodium d line monochromatic light from the source is passed through the polarizing filter then through a sample cell or a tube which contains the solution of the optically active compound when the light will leave the sample the polarized light encounters another polarizing filter this filter is called as analyzing filter and it has a scale allowing the operator to read the angle between the axis of the second axis of the second analyzing filter and the axis of first uh, polarizing filter how much uh, angle of rotation is present this is uh, observed here so operator rotates the analyzing filter unless unless until or unless maximum amount of the light is transmitted then observed rotation is symbolized by alpha and it is represented by uh, alpha which is the greek uh, alphabet now the compound that rotate the plane polarized light towards the right or clockwise are called as dextro rotatory from the greek word dextios which means towards the right and the compound that rotates rotates the plane polarized light to the left which is called as counter clockwise those enantiomers are called as levo rotatory from the latin word levis meaning towards the left these terms dextro rotatory and levo rotatory are abbreviated 
by the lower case dextro rotator g is represented by small d and lever rotatory in which the plane polarized light is rotated in the counter clockwise direction that is represented by the small l. Now using IUPAC notation the direction of the rotation is specified by the plus and by the minus sign of the rotation. So dextro rotatory or clockwise rotation is represented by plus while minus uh, sign is used for the lever rotatory lever rotatory which will rotate the plane polarized light in the counter clockwise direction now the example which you can see is the isomer of 2 butanol they rotate the plane polarized light in the clockwise direction and it is termed as plus 2 butanol and its enantiomer its enantiomer is minus 2 butanol minus 2 butanol is represented as L 2 butanol which will rotate the plane polarized light in the counterclockwise direction one is the plus uh, butanol or D2 butanol which will rotate the plane polarized light in the clockwise direction and its enantiomer is minus 2 butanol or L2 butanol which will rotate, rotate the plane per light in the counter clockwise direction. So in this way uh, you can see you can uh, read this example here which will also help uh, in the determination of the angle of rotation or specific rotation and uh, how it is measured by the uh, plurimeter and the process in which the angle of rotation is measured by the use of the plurimeter is called as polarimetry. So this was another topic, uh, special topic in the uh, special topics uh, in the uh, spectrum, uh, spectroscopy. First was uh, C13 in MR spectroscopy and today you have studied about the polarimetry. Shall next time we will study uh, some more special topics for today. Um, only this topic that is uh, perimetry is completed. Okay then, all the office.